In this video, we'll walk through the process of starting a session on Hierasmus. When you first log in, obviously you'll be brought to the welcome page. You'll find the learner that you want to work with and you'll see any associated sessions for that learner. So you'll select the appropriate session for that day and you'll find this green button that says start session. You'll select that button and doing so will take you to a preparation page. Uh, we want to help you focus on that learner when they're in front of you during a session. And this preparation page is a great way to uh, make sure that you're prepared to do that when that learner is in, um, is in front of you. So here you can see a message from your supervisor uh, with some reminders or things like that. And then you will see below that all of the active programs that you'll be running as part of your session. To see more details about any of these programs, you can simply tap on those uh, and you can pull up instructions. Uh, so here, those instructions could be text. They may include pictures or PDFs that support those instructions. Uh, and they may also include videos. So here, I have a quick vid explainer video uh, getting everyone on the same page, but there may also be video models of how to specifically conduct uh, that particular program. You can also go to targets to see a list of the targets that you'll be running. So if you need to gather some materials, this would be uh, a good resource for you as well. You can then check out the history. So you can see past sessions that were run, who ran them and when, and you can simply tap on um, the name of any target to get uh, deep into uh, the graphs here as well. So you have some, some flexibility and options here to see some, um, some very detailed uh, information about those targets. The last piece that we have here are program mods. So anytime a case supervisor makes edits to a program, when they hit save, it'll ask them if they want to list any program modifications. Uh, so if they do list some program modifications, it will save them in a timeline fashion, uh, which can be helpful as it uh, provides some context uh, about what changes have been made to a particular program uh, in a timeline fashion. I can also easily reference the most recent program modifications uh, by scrolling down to the bottom of my preparation screen. So here, if I just want to see um, any new updates that have been made, I can, um, I can easily view that and click in to see more details there. Once I feel prepared and ready to go and I want to start my session, uh, I can hit this green button to get into my session. That Hitting that button is what will actually start my session timer and get me to a place where I can take my data.